when Victoria made the decision to join her husband on a daring expedition into the dense wilderness, she had little idea of the harrowing yet transformative encounter that awaited her with a gorilla, an encounter that would captivate the world and forever change her perspective on life. Her heart raced with a mix of excitement and apprehension as she first set foot in the vast expanse of Batek Plateau National Park. This was to be a monumental event in her life. Where she would come face to face with Jolta and Ima, two young male gorillas who had been reintroduced into their natural habitat four years earlier after being cared for in captivity, the reintroduction project had been a major initiative of the Aspen Foundation, where her husband, Damien, held the position of chairman over the years. Victoria had been enthralled by Damien's stories about the two gorillas and had long harbored a desire to see them in their natural environment rather than just hearing about them. Finally, the opportunity arose for her to join a select group on a trip to Gabon to visit the gorillas, a chance she knew was once in a lifetime. Damien, who had developed a deep bond with both Jolta and Ima during their time at the sanctuary, was preparing for a poignant farewell and wanted Victoria to share in this significant moment. Damien had been instrumental in the gorillas' upbringing at the sanctuary, ensuring they were well cared for while keeping the ultimate goal of reintroducing them to the wild, or an environment closely resembling it, when the time came to relocate them to the relative safety of the national park, Damien eagerly took the opportunity to provide them with a more fulfilling life. It had been four years since he last saw Jolta and Ima, and this visit was his chance to truly say goodbye. Upon their arrival in Gabon, Victoria and Damien were welcomed by rangers from the Beak Plateau as they transferred their luggage into jeeps. The rangers took time to ensure everyone was settled before they conducted a detailed briefing on the upcoming visit to the park, emphasizing a number of safety precautions concerning the gorilla encounter. Victoria sensed that the briefing was tailored more for her benefit, given Damien's extensive experience with the gorillas. Although she had initially accepted Damien's invitation without hesitation, she now felt a surge of overwhelm as she tried to assimilate all the necessary information, anxiety crept in as she pondered the unpredictable and potentially dangerous nature of wild gorillas, despite Damien's reassurances that gorillas are misunderstood gentle giants. She couldn't shake off the fact that they were indeed wild animals with unpredictable responses in unfamiliar situations, it was uncertain whether they would recognize a group of tourists in their forest domain. Despite their imposing size and the potent power evident in their muscular forms, Jolta and Ima moved with a surprising gentleness. Victoria's heart pounded in her chest as she watched them, every sense heightened, every moment etched deeply into her memory, as the gorillas drew closer. The ranger's earlier advice echoed in her mind, the importance of remaining motionless and calm was paramount, any sudden movement could be perceived as a threat by these majestic creatures, potentially triggering a defensive response. With Jolta and Ima now only a few feet away, the air was thick with tension, but also with an unspoken respect and awe, the gorillas paused, their intelligent eyes scanning the group, meeting Victoria's gaze momentarily, it was a profound, almost spiritual encounter that transcended the usual observer-observe dynamic of wildlife tours, Victoria could see the curiosity in their eyes, mirroring her own, it was clear that these were not just any animals, they were individuals with personalities, emotions, and perhaps even an understanding of the human intrusions into their domain, the connection felt during that gaze was unexpectedly moving, dissolving some of her earlier apprehension into a moment of mutual recognition. The gorillas, seemingly reassured that no threat was present, began to display typical behaviors, Jolta started to forage nearby, occasionally glancing back at the group, while Ima seemed more interested in a quiet interaction with the smaller members of their troop, the group watched in silence, captivated by the peaceful coexistence they were momentarily part of. Victoria's initial nervousness gave way to a feeling of privilege, witnessing these majestic creatures in their natural habitat. Interacting as if she and the group were mere flies on the wall was an experience of a lifetime. The ranger's presence provided a reassuring sense of safety, but it was the respect and awe emanating from every member of the group that truly shaped the encounter. As the visit drew to a close and the gorillas gradually retreated into the thicker parts of the forest, Victoria felt a rush of emotions, gratitude, joy, and a newfound respect for these magnificent animals overwhelmed her. She knew that this encounter, a poignant reminder of the beauty and fragility of wildlife, would leave a lasting imprint on her soul. As they made their way back to the jeeps, everyone shared looks of wonder and satisfaction, 
knowing they had experienced something truly extraordinary. In the dense jungle, Victoria felt the oppressive heat intensify as a series of low, grunting sounds resonated around her. These sounds did little to calm her nerves as beads of sweat trickled down her back and forehead. It was clear that Ima, emerging as the leader of the pack, was the initial focus of their encounter. He moved towards the group with a noticeable air of confidence, his demeanor one of a leader intent on asserting his dominance over the new arrivals. Lingering a few steps behind Ima, Jolta appeared more reserved. He seemed to be evaluating the situation, gauging whether the newcomers posed any threat. After a few moments spent sniffing around the group, Jolta eventually wandered off, paying little attention to the tourists. His indifference granted them a silent nod of approval to stay, though it was evident he found them unremarkable. While Ima moved away, allowing Victoria to exhale a soft sigh of relief, Jolta's sporadic glances back at them kept her on edge. He occasionally emitted strange grunts and flashed his large teeth at the visitors. Though he maintained a safer distance than Ima had, Victoria perceived these actions as Jolta's clear signals advising them to maintain their distance, the hairs on her neck prickled with anxiety each time she caught his stern gaze, sensing her discomfort, Damien, another member of their group, placed a comforting hand on Victoria's leg and gently squeezed it, he then attempted to engage the gorillas by speaking in soothing tones. Hoping familiarity with his voice might draw them closer for a better interaction, despite his efforts, the male gorillas showed little interest. Deepening Damien's disappointment, as the hours slipped by, the group's hope of a meaningful encounter with the gorillas waned, ultimately, the animals kept their distance, showing no interest in the visitors, with a mix of disappointment and resignation, the group boarded their boat and headed back to their lodgings for a safe and comfortable night, still hopeful for a more fruitful encounter the next day, the following morning, as the sun began to rise. The group was quick to prepare for another attempt to see the gorillas, all were eager, except for Victoria, despite her efforts to reassure herself, a nagging sense of dread hung over her, for four years. She had dreamed of this moment, yet the reality left her feeling anything but joyful. The previous day's events, particularly Jolta's unsettling behavior, his bared teeth and intense stare, had left a deep impression on her. She replayed the scene over in her mind, feeling as if Jolta was deeply suspicious of their presence, an emotion that resonated uncomfortably within her. No one else seemed to notice her earlier discomfort, and she didn't want to dampen their spirits, so she had kept her anxieties to herself, reluctant to appear foolish as Damien's wife, the man whose life revolved around his work with gorillas. Privately, she harbored fears, particularly about meeting Jolta again. She hoped that in any future encounters, only Ima would be present since she had no wish to face Jolta again, to increase their chances of deeper engagement with the gorillas, the park ranger had chosen a new site deeper within the dense undergrowth, despite the early hour, the heavy heat was tangible, causing Victoria to frequently adjust her sticky clothing, an action that made her increasingly uncomfortable, though she suspected that her unease was not solely due to the temperature. The group was eager for more prolonged interactions with the gorillas, Buoyed by their previous encounters, the ranger was optimistic about the prospects for meaningful encounters, particularly since Damien had already spent four years among the male gorillas, Victoria felt increasingly out of place, questioning her hesitation about being there, it was too late to leave, however, and soon she recognized the sounds that had signaled the gorillas' approach the previous day. A wave of panic swept over her but her anxiety subsided when Ima appeared from the underbrush, eliciting a relieved laugh from her as Jolta was nowhere in sight. She wiped her sweaty palms and watched as Ima curiously inspected the group, a moment everyone had eagerly awaited. Even Victoria felt a sense of relief, the dread of the morning melting away as she began to enjoy the experience for the first time since her arrival. Ima, clearly remembering the group, boldly rummaged through their jackets and bags, looking for anything that might pique his interest, the group laughed at the playful gorilla who seemed keen to entertain them, now was the moment of truth, would Ima recognize Damien, when Damien spoke, the gorilla listened attentively, a spark of recognition in his eyes, the man who had cared for him was indeed there, Victoria was in awe, watching her husband reconnect with his old friend, and the group was thrilled to see that their bond still existed, eventually, though, Ima grew tired and lay down in a shady spot to escape the stifling heat, yet he remained visible to the group, Victoria marveled at how the day had unfolded, she smiled as she watched Ima engaging with her husband, a moment that unified the group in a collective sense of awe and delight, 
as he swatted flies from his face in a relaxed manner, she noticed her own shoulders slowly descending. A sign that she was letting go of the pent-up tension she had been carrying, it was almost as if watching him unwind in the tranquility of their surroundings allowed her to mirror the sentiment, however, her brief moment of relaxation was soon disrupted when she spotted a dark figure weaving through the distant trees, instantly, the familiar knots of anxiety clenched her stomach again, Victoria's pulse quickened as a wave of dread washed over her. The atmosphere among the group shifted palpably as they too noticed the presence approaching, Jolta, the gorilla, was making his way towards them, a nauseating sensation overwhelmed Victoria, her stomach twisting into knots and her chest tightening in fear as Jolta's form became clearer with each step he took towards them, his hesitation from their previous encounter seemed to have vanished, now, his movements were purposeful. As if he was determined to understand why these humans had dared to return to his domain, standing tall on his hind legs, Jolta towered over the group, an unmistakable display of dominance and control. Victoria felt a wave of nausea as she realized she needed to maintain eye contact with the imposing gorilla while simultaneously trying to control her breathing to manage the mounting sickness and dizziness. She was acutely aware of drawing unwanted attention to herself and dreaded the possibility of Jolta noticing her heightened state of anxiety. Meanwhile, Damien, buoyed by the excitement of encountering not just one but a second gorilla, seemed oblivious to Victoria's distress. Although Victoria had tried to stay inconspicuous, it was clear that Jolta's attention was now squarely on her. His grunts grew louder and more frequent, signaling his agitation. As he dropped all fours and began moving with renewed determination unlike the previous day, the gravity of the situation began to dawn on everyone, Victoria pinched herself, hoping against hope that this was all just a horrific nightmare, but reality bit hard as Jolta's grunts grew ever louder and closer, dispelling any childish hopes she harbored of closing her eyes to make herself invisible to the gorilla. Feeling the hot breath of Jolta on her face, Victoria dug her nails into her palms. Trying to muster the courage to open her eyes, the gorilla was clearly upset with the group for invading his territory, a warning he had issued just yesterday that had gone unheeded. Now, as they faced his wrath, Victoria snapped her eyes open only to find herself locked into the deep, muddy pools of Jolta's eyes, he had singled her out as his target, and the world began to spin as she struggled to maintain consciousness. The incident unfolded so swiftly that even her husband, Standing right beside her, was powerless to intervene, as Jolta grabbed her hand, the noise from the group receded into a distant blur, overwhelmed with terror about what the gorilla might do next, at that moment, everything around Victoria seemed to blur into the background, she noticed her husband Damien's lips moving, but his words were like whispers lost in a breeze, despite the apparent lack of immediate effect. Damien remained steadfast in his belief that he could defuse the tense situation, unbeknownst to Victoria. As she sat down in front of Damien, her hand resting lightly on his. He was introducing her as his wife Victoria to their hairy companion. Gradually, her senses sharpened, her vision cleared and her hearing fine-tuned just in time to catch the park ranger clarifying to the nearby crowd that the gorilla's grunting sounds were not signs of aggression but merely Jolta expressing himself. Feeling a profound change within, Victoria locked eyes with Jolta, peering into the deep, soulful pools of his gaze. And in those moments, she understood precisely what Jolta needed, with a newfound clarity and gentleness, she began to raise her free arm towards the massive gorilla, before she could complete her movement, the group gasped in unison as Jolta enveloped Victoria in a heartfelt embrace, this gesture from Jolta signaled to Victoria that the gorilla's intentions were purely affectionate, prompting her to return his hug with equal warmth, to her amazement, as she knelt on the grass and leaned into the embrace. She felt Jolta's large body relax against hers and any previous fears melted away with the touch of his soft fur, it became evident that Jolta had discerned Victoria's willingness to offer the affection he sought, for the remainder of the day, they became inseparable companions, they cuddled, and played, and Jolta even playfully groomed Victoria's hair, much to the amusement of everyone watching, it seemed as though the rest of the group had faded into the background. Jolta's attention was fixated solely on Victoria and not even Damien could divert the gorilla's focus from her, as she stroked his fur. Victoria reflected on the day's events and realized her initial interpretation of Jolta's demeanor as aggressive was a misunderstanding. Damien had indeed been right about the true nature of gorillas all along. 
The day concluded with one final memorable moment from Jolta that left an indelible impression on the group, as Victoria gently patted his head. He playfully mimicked her action, rolling over and patting her head in return. This sparked a wave of laughter among the group, and encouraged by the joyous response, Jolta proceeded to pat everyone's head as he made his way around the circle. The jungle was filled with laughter, creating a moment of pure joy and surprise that none could have anticipated. The day spent with Jolta not only altered Victoria's perception of gorillas but also left everyone with a deeper appreciation and understanding of these magnificent creatures. Before their encounter, everyone had perceived Jolta as an aggressive gorilla, even the seasoned park rangers were astounded by his transformation from a territorial guardian to a charming prankster, a change that was nothing short of remarkable, this wasn't just a momentary amusement for the group. Jolta's endearing antics resonated deeply with all who witnessed them, the story of Victoria and the gorilla concluded just as it had started with the two of them holding hands and locking eyes, forging an unforgettable connection. Initially, Victoria was apprehensive about meeting Jolta, but by the end of the day, she was profoundly sad at the thought of leaving him, unbeknownst to her. Damien had captured the entire day's events on his phone and planned to share the footage on the Aspen Foundation's social media channels. No one could have predicted the overwhelming impact this story would have globally. The video of Victoria and Jolta quickly went viral, astonishing viewers worldwide by showcasing the surprising gentleness of the supposedly hostile gorilla and their remarkable bond. This not only highlighted the vital role of the national park in reintroducing animals to the wild but also played a significant part in challenging and transforming public misconceptions about gorillas. Audiences learned from Victoria's experience that gorillas are not the fierce creatures they were often thought to be but rather gentle beings deserving of compassion and respect, as Victoria and her group left the park for the final time during their trip. She felt a profound transformation within herself, though she boarded the plane with expectations of a memorable encounter with the gorillas, the depth of the connection and the experiences she had in the jungle were beyond anything she could have anticipated, Jolta had made a lasting imprint on her heart and mind, and she cherished the hope that he would remember her as well. Now, we turn to you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on the bond between Victoria and Jolta? How would you feel if you were in Victoria's shoes? We are eager to hear your perspectives, so please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.